There we are. Because you're gonna, we're gonna get you drunk. Pretend that these drinks next to me, next to us are actually like alcoholic energy drinks. <laughs> they don't even. They don't make those, do they? They probably don't make those. <laughs> that feels like the sort of thing that would be tremendously irresponsible and unhealthy. So probably someone does make them. Yes. <laughs> You, you, go, you ready? Uh, give me just one second. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, yes. Also, if you don't mind, I keep forgetting to do my new intro, so I'm going to do that real quick. Go, go for it. <clears throat> hello, hello. I have arrived. I'm a future man, researcher, artist, and tonight, part-time uh, assistant bartender. Indeed. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. <laughs> And, and you I, are? I am Sheppy Sheps. I am also I am also moonlighting as a bartender today, getting anime girls drunk. If they want to, of course. I'm not I'm not forcing it down their gullet or anything, but Also uh, anime men. We don't discriminate here. We don't discriminate here. But I, I'm here for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> also anime dogs sometimes. Uh, well, we, I don't serve. I don't serve. I don't serve dogs. I don't You've even, served I don't at least they... one dog. Wait, we did. Wait, we did give him a drink, didn't we? Yeah. Plus the other dogs before him that uh, weren't in the actual game, but were in the you know, happened I mean, a previous event. I, I mean, as long as they the are adult, adult dogs, I don't care what they do. <laughs> I do not care. All right, room. I'm in the room. Day 11. We had 11 streams of this. Indeed. I do discriminate against minors, though. Like, we, 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 don't, we don't drink. We don't, give, we don't give drinks to minors, of course. Yeah. I think at that point, <laughs> I don't think that's discrimination in as much as it is just following the law. Listen, I, I'm reading chat. <laughs> that's what Fair Madrosity enough. said. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Hi, Madrosity. Oh, also, How hello, doing? Madrosity. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, your electricity bill will be sent to you out on the 24th. That is tomorrow. Sure. That is tomorrow. is tomorrow. So I think we're going to be fine. I think we're we, going to be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. How's Madrosity today? How you doing, buddy? Are you excited to play A Hat in Time next month? I am. I mean, I have I have the redeem. I need to I need to I need to play the game. To um, make the make the redeem like you know reality. Uh, let me yes. see. Fair enough, Madrosity. Uh, the augmented eye has new story uh, about Lilim. People dig minds, of course, of course. Lilim receiving mysterious messages by Lana Smithy. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that Lilim across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with uh, messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of the Lilim can't remember exactly what they had heard. But the most mysterious thing of all is perhaps the fact that the Lilim could not record any of these messages while they were broadcasted. Mm. It was almost as if something had blocked the Lilim from doing so. Well, we have nothing but anecdotal proof even of among our own Lilim, the, mis the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. Hmm. Could this be tied to Alice Rabbit? Maybe. Hmm. Is Kira Miki the biggest pop idol in history? Bigger Question than mark. Miku? Bigger than Miku? Hatsune? Our Lord and Savior? I doubt it. But uh, I don't know. She could still, she could be taller. I don't know. <laughs> Miku's not that tall. In terms of height, like biggest, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll read it. I'll read it. Sure. Also, is it just me or has like every article that we've read recently, at least, been written by Lana Smithy? That's the only employee. <laughs> JJJ, <laughs> uh, J -J -J, John Jones Jameson keeps on firing everyone. I don't they, know. They keep quitting, apparently. If uh, 
if Kim's yeah. any indication. They anyway. don't pay their jur- journalists high enough, I guess. The world at large is still coming to terms with the idea of the Lilim being so quickly integrated into our society. Some say they can't be treated as humans because they're immortal and as such can't, cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. But most of the Kiramiki fandom would disagree. Anti-Lilim people are insane. To me, Miki knows him, eh, more about life than I do and I'm older than this city. Richard Cho, 55, told the Augmented Eye during a fan group meeting. I'm with Richard, Nacho, 6. I may be a dog, but I'm utterly fascinated with the way she writes about things in her blog. She's impressed by everything. Oh. And nobody really knows what life's about anyway. So this city's only... Wait. Older it's than less than 55. Eh? Interesting. So cities just pop out of nowhere, I guess. <laughs> I guess it depends That's... on what you, how how you count the age of a city. I guess because it could be that it was you know considered something else before it was Glitch City. Strictly yeah. speaking, true, true. Huh. Who knows? It could it could be New York and they just renamed it? Maybe it sounds cooler. Quincy studies the possibility of allowing imports. Glitch City is one of the few places on Earth that's strictly self-sufficient, with an import rate of only 0.8%. That's pretty impressive. It is. However, that might change due to the recent shortages across the city. Prime Minister Quincy revealed this morning that the government plans to have a more relaxed policy for importers. We We won't control the life uh, let, lift the currency control, but we will provide foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way, we can secure essential items at affordable prices. Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> Quincy told AE, Some experts say that private companies are no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news given that the Quincy government has seized most of them, resulting in the shortage crisis in the first place. Mm. Interesting. Maybe... Maybe Quincy is a Dalek. If you're familiar with Doctor Who. <laughs> Reasonably so, yes. Okay. Uh, that's all the news. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, Cheps, I understand that you're excited about wallpaper, but please, uh, we have, we do have to make, uh, we do have to make the electricity bill. But, but this, Chaps. we gotta save up. We gotta save up for this. We gotta save up. We gotta save up for the bills, chaps. Okay. Uh, but fun shui. I gotta feel good about where I live. Well, if you want to live here, then we gotta pay the bills. I guess you're right. Yes, but Madrosity but says. I mean, I'm older than the town I grew up in, or in the city I grew up in, as in it used to be a town. Oh, interesting. I I just think like are are towns and cities still being built? Like, is that still is that a thing? Yeah. Does that happen? I think so. Interesting. Anyway, oh, is this? It's a cute soda pop advertisement girl. I think. Uh, anyway, it seems <gasps> lurk. So. Well, Lol matter. Thank you so much for the lurk. I haven't seen you in a while. I think I saw you last Saturday, but last Saturday we were playing uh, It Takes Two. Uh, but I haven't seen you in a while, uh, personally. Uh, I like you stream it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for the lurk. <laughs> Have a good one. <clears throat> good, good evening. Oh, well, what happened? What What's this? What is this? I, oh, I'm not that sure. That is the... That's the message history. You use the ah. mouse wheel to open it. Sorry about that. Been dealing with stuff. I get it. Ah, that I I I uh I can relate. I can totally relate to that. Well, matter. Well, you. Uh, I'll still be here. I'll still I'll still show up whenever I see you. Uh, goody. Uh, good evening. Oh, hey. How are you feeling? A little bit more soft. And warm. Come again? You heard me. So, on a scale from steaming pile of trash to just sad, where are you? Hmm. 
side pile of shit. <laughs> Uh, I should redo my server and actually be active. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can be as active as you want. I mean, you don't have to force interaction. I mean, that, I mean, that social media is ingrained in, in like the collective consciousness, this, this underlying FOMO that like, if you're not active, you're missing out on everything. And it's like, we don't set aside time for ourselves anymore. Like, I, it sucks. I know it sucks. There's, we need to, we need to go against the grain and like, you know, spend time with ourselves. And mm. I'm glad you're doing that. Uh, people say I would get addicted, but I forget to see, say even hi. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh, you're doing a good thing. You're doing a good thing. You're doing nothing wrong. You're doing nothing wrong. You're doing great. So apparently it all matter. I'm a sad pile of shit. I still hate myself. I'm still sad as hell, but how to put it? The noise stopped. I don't know if I explain myself. Sorta. Kinda. So, how are things last night? Cozy, I must admit. Can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hmm? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you, and she was really concerned. She stuttered for a second, saying that she had the whole night to go, and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said, Enough to pay for the soda I'm having is fine. Aw, oh, Dorothy. How did you get her number? I have... Contacts. <laughs> right. Anyway, Jill, if you need a second drink, break or a drink or a hug, just let me know. You hear? Thanks. I'd make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs for me are the last thing you want. You need a bartender? Let me know, though. Nice to know. Anyways, we have work to do. I'd accept the hug from Gil. Yeah. He's a little scrunkly man. Mm -hmm. He's a handsome, scrunkly man with a weird past. Like, oh Yo, my god. Thank he does you. have, he has a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. I command you to hydrate. That's it. Ah, good. Yes, I'm drinking good. some tea tonight. Usually I just Ooh. have water, but I'm ha having tea. Oh, you're a little bougie. You're bourgeois. I don't Indeed. think we serve tea yet. I, I, I don't think we serve tea at this bar. This bar, though, uh, how would, what, did you just Maybe bring you it from don't. home? Did you yes. bring it at home? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just brought these alcoholic energy drinks because I'm insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice to hear that again. Oh, stretch too. Oh, I just started, but the stretch feels so good. Oh. Oh, I feel my 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 tendons like they're tr like ripping apart. Oh, thought y'all had you. hospitality. A posture check. I am, I am straight laced. I am ninety degree angle. Thank you so much, little butter. <laughs> uh, hospitality. <laughs> I suppose I could stand to straighten up a little bit as well. Pretty good at stretching and hydrating, but uh, posture is not one of my strong suits. Right. Yeah, Did anyway, you say something? For, oh. <laughs> did I? <laughs> I was about to apologize for interrupting you, but I did so interrupting you again. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, it's you guys. Hey, be more <laughs> respectful. I brought my boss here. Do you want me to do the boss voice? Sure. <laughs> Aren't you a part-timer here or something? My other boss. You're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Shit. 
So, what brings you here today? Mm, what voice should I give Nacho? He looks... He seems like an evil, like evil genius. I was going to say he reminds me a little bit of, of Snake from Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh, that works too. I wanted to see the place my best soldier is working at. Soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog that I served last Monday? Eh? Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why don't you tell me what you were working for, Dana? No, that's not Dana. That's just Jay. So I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sierra thing. Yes, thank you for the lurk, Madrosity. Metal Gear, part of it. I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can make a... Oh, we can take in any dog without a place in this world. We created our own heaven on Earth. This is feeling very Metal Gear Solid, specifically <laughs> Peace Walker. Yes. And do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those Cypher bitches? Of course not. <sighs> Colonel. <sighs> I got. I, I got to get my snake voice back. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around. Okay, I'll include other animals, but sadly, I can only take care of those who are of the same species as I. Thanks for the lurk, Madrosity. Sad thing is, I'll take him more. I take him more seriously, but it's like it's a talking corgi with an eye patch. Will you get anything? I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? All right. And maybe I should just give dog. him. Some, maybe I should just give him something bitter. How about manly and bitter? That's probably possible. Got bitter and manly. There we go. I'm going to five Armatron. All well, Asian. that dog up. Yeah. All right. Sit. Here. Yes. This is just what I wanted. Otacon. I got the drink. <laughs> this tastes worse than my own butt. Hey, you asked for it. <sighs> this is a really nice place, you know. You picked a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks. Does he really get paid? Your efforts to keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'd make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can Boss really afford that? We have more urgent matters at hand, though. Like the fact that we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones that we have? You fool! Every dog has a right to his, have his own ball. If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck <laughs> and is spending all of her money like water. I mean, what, the, what with the bar clothes and all that? But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper? A box of balls or a box of boxes? Are there boxes of boxes? <laughs> of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? Tied together? Tied together? Don't be silly. Unless she's paying them straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. She's not even paying attention. <laughs> Absolutely not. This world. The war has changed. This world is filled with all sorts of recursive madness. Shipping Bloodshed. has changed. 
shipping has changed. You know, nano machine rates have changed. The boxes are filled with nano machines, soldier. Even the stamps have nano machines. <laughs> the balls have nano machines. You can't go can't go anywhere with anything tied with man, nano machines nowadays, soldier. Doctors consult doctors. Boxes and bo come in boxes. Bottles come in bottles. Ooh, as expected from you, boss. Wait, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying them with money. Or I know, she might be paying them with stakes. So tomorrow, you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes sir. Except that, to boss, a good stick is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? Rusenstrauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate a foil a piece of cheese came in. Horses. Right. We need a pl contingency plan. We'll, t we'll send in the, the Metal Gear shaped like a Shiba. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, boss is not one to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we could strike a deal with the vet those Cypher bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute, too. So, it's better that we vet for a vet? Yes, they put, they put vets in vets now. And they... <laughs> <laughs> they put Shibas inside Shibas. It's it's all self-containing recursiveness. Yes, put that on the list. Ah, uh, Nacho. Oh yeah, forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying for a while? I was just passing by. I got some errands to run. Great. Bill can go with you. I can? You... <laughs> You will. Oh, well, you will. I'll still get paid for today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. <laughs> All right, Greenhorn. Let's get going. Operation. Uh, what? What were they doing? I wasn't really paying attention. What are these dogs doing? They're making They're a paradise. Yes. <laughs> They're making that paradise for dogs. <laughs> Operation Outer Dog House. We gotta um, break in the cats. They're they're all they have a they have a secret we we weapon at Shadow Meowsis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm paying him anyways. By the way, just wanted to mess around with him. No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? He looked like he needed to take a good break. He's the kind to not just accept such a thing. Well, you're just leaving me alone? You've got, you've got the Rad Shiba here. Yeah, but he's useless. He's, not he's a mascot. Useless. <laughs> well, with Nacho, he'd have something to do. And he'd be away from the bar for a bit. Let me put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Besides, it's not like we don't take, you know, breaks and leave Gil to take care of the bar. But Gil just started it just as I did. Where's my break? Well, we're going to get our break. I guess. Hasn't happened yet. Anyway, <clears throat> your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her, too. Yeah. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just going to go sit over there and be on standby. Await orders. Okay. Shit. I missed the chance to ask how, or if he even gets paid with money. Betty. Sit. Who's Betty? I don't know. She's not on the list. Uh, let's see what she looks like. Man, I sure need to get wasted. Oh, oh yeah, these guys. I think, yeah, this... Oh, I mean, yeah, she is on the list. Okay, yeah. Uh, she, Be eh, Betty is a character that you have. Deal is the one that I have. 
Okay. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel better. Sheba! For fuck's sake, you piece of scrap. You just got out of a building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks. <sighs> Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Get me a beer, will you? Gotcha. Does Deal want anything? Okay. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer, then. Friday after work isn't just a beer, though. It's the beer. Can't argue with that. Uh, beer for Betty. I could make it big for the heck of it. Let's do that. I was going to say, aren't beer... I was thinking that they were inherently big, but I guess we could, yeah, make a an extra big one, can't we? Uh, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. Uh, all mixed. All mixed. There you go. For some reason, I keep thinking yeah. that there's a different sprite for big versus non-big drinks, but that's not correct. No, they're the same. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's make it special. Yeah! Yas! Here's. Hey, Jill. You like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. I had this friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in the contact with them if you're interested. No thanks. The last thing I need right now is more crap taking space. So, how are things up at Dogtown? What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I got a case of hot dog Tiberius. <laughs> oh dear. Did you catch that at Sockon? <laughs> What's stock on these nuts? <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah. Uh, that's a running joke in my stream, I guess, is because I keep on getting falling for Ligma jokes. So, uh, is that like I've a heard them all. <laughs> About. About five pounds. <laughs> uh, well, that Lara girl is stirring things up for better or for worse. For worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. An overtly political correct rabbit. Rabbit? Ever had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the littlest of things. This girl is on the constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. There's no problem in the company, but the other day, we went out together and holy shit! Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say anything offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries so hard to not get offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Mm -hmm. You randomly yell, What did you say? Whenever she's within earshot distance. Yeah, well... It's just that she looks so cute when she's startled. Like a rabbit. It raises the question of whether she's really like that. Or if you're the one making her wary of, anyth of anything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? The test it's really me who makes her like that. Hmm. It's not like you can say no, you know. I mean, it's my honor that's on this line here. I want to prove you're not you're only talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. You take it on your stride, but she actually gets startled. 
squirms and then gets uncomfortable. I'm a big bully. <laughs> I'm a bully. <laughs> he definitely seems a bit like it, yeah. But I, I'm, I, I get the feeling that like she's picking on her because she likes her. <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> How's? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. How is that any good? She's cute, and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to it. You know, like me. Shit. You're right. I must save my teasing for the moment I get it's just right then. No, that's not the problem. It is for me. And what are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Hey, this Laura girl. Do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. Hmm. What kind of girl is she? Aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing. Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully that she does them really, really slowly. Really, really slowly. I can't deny that when she actually finishes stuff, she gets does a great job though, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there then? Because she likes dogs. Ah, and that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. That's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, bad example. Yeah, robot. May I say something? Oh. Ah, then. Thank you for the raid. Hello, oh, hello, everyone. Got a raid? Hello. Indeed. Good evening, oh, everybody. Let me see. Well, I, I don't have your. Sh I've been shoot. raided. I, 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 <laughs> hello, people. Hello, raiders. Indeed. But yes. Yeah. Glad you could all join us tonight. Sheppy Sheps here and I are currently playing. Uh, currently playing some Valhalla. Or rather, Sheps we're is playing Valhalla, and I'm talking. Yes. Uh, we're we're getting anime men and women drunk. On the and sauce. robots and dogs, occasionally. Uh, yeah, robots and dogs as well, because robots can drink alcohol. Uh, don't get it. <laughs> don't worry about There's it. There's only... Uh, <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you for dropping yeah, by for... then. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. What were you streaming tonight? You, do you have a bot? Do you have a shadow command? I do not. I have no. I have no. I have no bots. I have no commands. Everything, everything I do is is done manually, which is terribly inefficient and probably shouldn't be a thing that I do in the long term. But uh, you know, right? It's how things are as of current. Oh, let me see. Oh dear. What happened? Yeah, just realized my. I didn't have my uh, activity feed up. Yes, oh. Crowfit, thank you for the follow. Ah, you love this game? Good. Glad to hear it. I did some Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, are Monster you playing Hunter the... Uh, yeah, playing Sunbreak? Or just or the uh, base game? I'm still stuck playing World. Uh, I'm. Uh, it's my first time playing World. I actually started playing it uh, last Tuesday, I think. And it's... um fantastic game world is a lot of fun i remember the world is so good i remember when i i first played it i was talking with some friends of mine and i described it as being disgustingly enjoyable i don't know <laughs> i don't know where that phrase came from in my mind but uh that's that's the first way i could think to describe it that is a good way to describe it it's extremely addictive yes <laughs> and says saw that you're playing valhalla and i wanted to chill doing sunbreak all right all right you know, I've nice. had I've had Rise since since release, but I've never gotten around to beating it. And I haven't yeah, I don't have Sunbreak either. 
But yeah, chefs, would you like to uh, talk to the or say anything to the the new folks here for the raid? Uh, it's, I mean, this is your raid, but if you want me to shamelessly promote myself, I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is this is your stream as much as it is mine, even if it is my channel. I mean, I am Peppy Sheps. I am the Explosion VTuber. I am a variety streamer. I'm a dual model VTuber, and I uh, I like to play games. Um, that's my thing. That's yes. my thing I want to say. <laughs> yes. In addition, she's uh, not always an inkling. She's an inkling on my side because uh, that's what her uh, Discord reactive is. But, uh, but yeah. And as for me, I am Tiberius Vanderfield. I am a future man. I am from the future. I uh, am an artist, a musician. I like to play uh, a lot of sort of uh, role-playing games, narrative-focused games, puzzle games, those sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like this one. Where Indeed. we get anime men and women drink, a drunk on the sows. And robots and dogs. And robots and dogs. And brains and jars. Yes. And brains and jars. Yes. You just pour it down. You just pour it into the jar. <laughs> Indeed. And just it just mixes it just mixes in with the goop. <laughs> the brain goop. <laughs> exactly so. Alright. Yes. Back to business. Yeah. Low Matter says there's only six channels streaming this game. I mean I that's not surprising. But uh I'm probably are we like Tiberius is probably like the number one streamer of this game right now. So congratulations, <laughs> Tiberius. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I uh, forgot what they last said. Um, okay. Uh, may I say something? Okay. By all means. If that Laura girl is really as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with a more... Um, a more assertive person? Lilim? Uh, a, a more assertive partner? Yo, piece of scrap. She's totally calling you a pussy. <laughs> She's right, though. Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. So who knows? Maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess it's a possibility too, you spoil sport. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit, so someone might try to eat her out of it out there, you know? You gotta protect her. She's just a rabbit. It'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. So, in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. <sighs> Why not see if she likes you and... You already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You make me sound like some skirt chaser. He's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. Of course you did. She seemed, um, giddy afterwards, though, when she's trying, playing hard to get. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. Oh, my God. My fucking God. She's a bitch. It was we It was weird. Okay. Enough Laura for or a night. That... Refrain from using any that's what you said last night jokes or variations thereof. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> For once. Pa party pooper. Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll have a bloom light, please. Get me a fringe fever. I wanna get I wanna get totally crunk, you know? Alright. Uh, I don't know why I gave her like a valley girl kind of <laughs> like a valley girl accent. I mean, it's she fair. Does it's fair. I don't remember what voice you gave her last time. I don't either. And I know it definitely wasn't that, though. 
aged on the rocks and mixed. And then and, uh, Fringe Weaver. Fringe Weaver. Oh my gosh, she Sit. she really wants to get drunk. Oh my god. Yeah, she's she's in it to win it. I want to get totally crunk. My my god. This it is what she announced in her yeah upon entering, basically. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. I wonder why it's called a bloom light. This was first developed at some video games event. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Said attendees were, of course, part of some big games company. Seems that company always used to too much bloom lighting. So the bartender there literally made them drink all the bloom. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark? Not this one, no. Profit says, Come it's like she's drinking straight up alcohol with a spoon of sugar. She's wild. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's basically, basically. Like drinking ethanol. <laughs> Sweetened ethanol. With a little dash of sugar. <laughs> come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? Oh, wait. That's come a... to think of it. Did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? That's a bad question to ask, Jill, at this particular moment in time. Yeah! Sore spot right now. Sip. In more ways than one, I guess. Would you say for better or for worse? I guess it for the better. I'm not too thick-headed to develop any new bad habits. Although... Thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. So you were one of those kinds of people. As for me, sometimes I think I became more... Uh, what, uh, help me out here. What's the word? Cynical, jaded, bitter, tired of the things this world and everyone in it throws on a daily basis. Hey! I'm just hey, quoting uh, you. That, that's that's mean. Uh, stop. Uh, but yeah, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into this whole activism thing in the first place. How is that bad? We'd all go and protest. We'd start all kinds of movements to see where things changed. I really got into the whole thing. You know? it was it was kind of fun. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I just find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that not everyone was willing to go that far. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the world whole thing because of some shitty fad. And not because they actually believed in whatever movement that they were championing. So I moved from group to group, only to find people who were, more, were into it because of a fad. And when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were of the dangerous extremist kind. My tolerance for people's shit was greatly diminished after all that. So it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather other people. Um... You seriously never thought about it that way? Uh... You need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Whatever! Where's the other guy, by the way? He... Uh, had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, the one that was in here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at the Safar Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from the dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know what how you do how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. But this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. Or at least I think we're paying him. Not completely certain we do. <laughs> Will you get anything else? Well, 
We are fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand to hear another had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Jeez, let's go then, party pooper. Oh my god, you're so lame. See ya, Jill. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. So, farewell. Please come again. Feels fun. Man, you're such a party pooper. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. You will be the gathering excreter tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. Now I'm sounding like her. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> she's she's he, infected her, you. Her, she's infected me. Oh my god. All right. I'm not going to ask why you're talking like that now, Jill. <laughs> up, up. It is now safe to keep on playing. Old Matter says, hey, Sheps, any resources you recommend to practice art? Any resources? YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube's Fantas pretty good. YouTube has some great tutorials. Um, what kind of art? Uh, yeah. there's like, I'm assuming digital art. Um, I was going to make a suggestion. I, I'm a, a fan of, uh, drawbox.com. Drawbox? Draw a box.com. Draw a box.com. Oh, I've yes. never heard of that one. Yeah. I, I learned a lot of my art fundamentals there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's link that in chat. Yeah. Why I'll not? go grab the link real quick. It's just draw a box.com. Drawabox.com. There Let's you see. go. Oh, okay. We both missed <laughs> it. I guess yeah. I might as well link it in my own chat too. Why not? Ah, uh, I That's have tried it. Kind of, for, kind of forgot it. Well, it, if if you, you can only you can only get good by doing it multiple times. Draw a box many times. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I let's um, see another artist that I that I've uh, followed. Uh, I've learned from was uh, Sam uh, Prokopenko is his name. Oh. I, and yeah, his, he has a website called Proko.com. So that is P R O. I guess I can, I'll just get the <laughs> URL again. No need to spell it out as though I'm on a commercial or something. Right. Ba -ba -ba. Proko. So yeah, so I think yeah the the resources on Draw a Box are at least last time I checked all 100% free. Um, not all of them are on Proco.com. Most of them are paid. So that's for if you want to get a little bit more advanced, a little bit mm -hmm. more professional instruction. But uh, yeah, yeah, there is a lot of very, I mean you know not to imply that Draw a Box uh, .com's artist is not a professional because he is, but. Uh, yeah, the lessons on Proco.com tend to be a lot more in depth. There tend to there are a lot more of them, and there's a lot mm. more different artists who uh, contribute to it than just yeah. the the one guy. There, uh, the YouTuber I like to watch for art tips and stuff is uh, his name is Ethan Becker. Uh, he's a professional uh, professional Sit. artist, and he's really funny. On, uh, really funny. It, it, you learn and you laugh. So uh, look up Ethan Becker on YouTube. Um, de just depends on. Uh, there's lots of tutorials on mostly figure drawings, um, like how to draw a head, like how to uh, draw a, like a believable pose, stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for entertain en entertainment while you're learning, I highly recommend Ethan Becker. It's just. Ethan Becker. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, that's the resources I recommend for ya, friend. And I hope you get good. Get good at drawing. Indeed. You're gonna suck. You're gonna suck at first. Everyone sucks at first. Uh, but then you get better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No dogs in sight. <laughs> Those dogs in sight. Whew. We are free. Okay. Okay, back to work. 
Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey there, Alma. Um, <sighs> she seems down. Maybe there's something I can do to give her, uh, give her to cheer her up. Let's try to cheer Alma up. She might like classy drinks, but what she really likes? Shit. Mm. Shit, shit, both... shit, shit. Uh. Then, uh, neither of us have played through this game to the end before, as far as I'm aware. This is both of our first playthrough. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck. I forget what we served her that she liked. I think... Hmm, I want to say it's sweet? Sweet or perhaps girly? Sweet and girly? So, if we could get something that's classy and sweet, or perhaps classy... I guess, I don't know if it could be classy and girly. I don't know if that's a combination that uh, the game allows for. Mm -hmm. A little matter suggests going to the wiki. <laughs> hmm. So she yeah. said classy, classy. I feel like it was something classy and sweet. Hold on, I think... Sour. Actually, it might have been the Brantini. Because I remember there was someone who said something... Who had a particular interest in Brantinis, maybe. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's sweet, too, which... <laughs> which matches up with my very vague memories of, uh... Her interest. Aged and mixed. And it's classy, so even if it's not, you know... A perfect match. It's still something. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. And this? It's on me. Drink. So you're at least change your expression. Why not just say that you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? Huh. So, how is it? A Brantini. So you do pay attention to what I ask for. Hey! There we, we got go. It. We got it. Yeah. You have quite the fixation with Fantinis. To be honest, they suit you. All right. I like that. I like that Jill says that Brantini suit her when when they are specifically described as being a drink uh, preferred by smug jerks. Right. <laughs> anyway, hey, want to hear a silly story? Always. <laughs> Jill is so into so into her. <laughs> Sip. When I turned 21, my dad and I went to a bar to celebrate. Just him and I. He told me to dress well enough that I that he looked like my sugar daddy. What? Listen, I don't <laughs> listen. What? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, let me read that again. Uh, when I turned 21, my dad and I didn't went to the bar to celebrate. Just him and I. What? <laughs> well, what it might. Fuck? Let's hope that this that this improves. <laughs> It was a fun <laughs> night. We pretended at times that we were dating. I managed to blow off some steam about my mom. But the highlight was him ordering a Brantini for me. I've had plenty of drinks and gotten wasted many times since I was 15, but that drink was different. It was about getting drunk. The drink itself was the pleasure. He too said they suited me somehow. Low matter. <laughs> It's, you have to remember, this is just a game. It's fiction. It's <laughs> it's okay. I, it's okay, Low Matter. Hydrate. 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 Take, his, take, your, take your prune juice. <laughs> it's okay. <Same. laughs> Low Matter. 
<laughs> You're gonna be fine. <laughs> you alright there, little batter? <laughs> <laughs> this game... This is not even the most fucked up, like, line oh, absolutely. of dialogue. absolutely. Not, this game. not by a long Not by a long... Time. Yeah, no, this is... You've missed out on some pretty... Not even degenerate shit, but some, like, fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah, this is a... This is this is a game with some challenging moments in it. Yeah, this is one of the less challenging challenging moments. I said, I said, oh. Ever since that day, he's called me Brantini Girl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a cool guy. <laughs> you should meet him sometime. So why are you deflating? Deflating. Uh, when I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would learn, warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. <laughs> so, what is it? What is... What it, was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. <laughs> Liliama. I've been feeling like utter shit for the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead. Unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Crack your knuckles. Oh. Okay, so, remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way were around for something. Perfect summary, I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story then, more specifically that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. Uh, your sister's just infected by the patriarchy, I guess. Just come on! Be a self-made woman! I even started Wait. a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Yeah. Huh. So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later? Why? Bring her abusive husband back, of course. Oh, God. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot, steamy nights, and then left. Uh, I didn't need to know that, but okay. Rude of him to use a shower like that, hogging all the hot water. <laughs> exactly. Let's make it family friendly. I, uh, well. Huh. You acted, you reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her, her pants just to get money. Pants. And it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels, they made a mess out of the whole place. Renato and Eva are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some peace. Doesn't help that I, I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car, and she asks how her kids are. And of course, after all the built-up tension, I just... exploded. Oh no. First, I started ranting about how her kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff. Right, that's kind of fucked. I love those emotes. It's uh, Maple Bork. I haven't heard of Maple Bork. Are they, uh, are they a VTuber? Are they a furry VTuber? It's our cute emotes. Um, go ahead. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. 
I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What do you know? You don't have any kids. Oh, they pull that card on you, huh? Yeah. Because not having kids makes you not uh, makes you not able to give criticism for uh, other people's shitty parent parenting. It's like, you don't have kids, so you can't judge me. Like, that's... No, I can still judge you. You're still a shitty parent. Yeah, you can... There's a lot of there's a lot of problems in your life that don't have anything to do with your kids. I'm afraid. It's like I'm immune to your I'm immune to your criticism. You don't have any kids. So you can't say anything about it. Or being a teen, uh, you're not allowed to have opinions. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. Your opinions are invalid until you until you turn 18. Your opinions are not valid at all. Yeah, I don't have kids, but I'm not I'm yeah, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. Yeah. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. Oh no. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Eva and Bernardo and they turned out pretty well. I don't have any kids, but... Hmm. Not I can't cheap. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I can't think of a way to, to phrase this in a way that uh, matches my usual uh, tone that I take. Cheap whore! <laughs> there you go, Sheps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Diana's seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help? You just did. Huh? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not on to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry, though, and I can't, couldn't, I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter, your daughter has made poor life choices. <laughs> Continually. <laughs> I just need to get all this off my chest, you know? Yeah. Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Whoa! I'm hitting on her. <laughs> That's a... That, you're coming in strong, Jill. <laughs> Alma never misses push-up day. Nah, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. <laughs> My titties are filled with, with... With... With the dreams of... And happiness of... Uh, of uh, orphan children. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> my, my titties are filled with happiness, sparkles, and dreams. <laughs> is everyone in your family as busty as you? Worst offender is my dad, actually. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only one who, who didn't get that gene was Eva. <laughs> I guess the only one that's going to get that big boobs gene was Eva. She, on, she insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. This can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. And poor Bernardo. His breasts actually started growing when he was eight. Aha! Uh -huh. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. My father's sisters still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks quite uh, rather quickly. Oh no. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had problems with that. Oh, I see. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? 
how your nephews are turning out? She leaves them with my mom. They'll turn out better than her, somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that, too? How so? If I find a good man and settle down, what if he turns out, out rotten? <laughs> what if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and end up neglecting them because of all that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indi uh, indication enough that you're, you'll be fine. You think so? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Sit. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your rational standards. Hey. <laughs> Am I lying? No, but there are things best kept as unspoken truths. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. How about a good girl? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> come, come here. <laughs> Just lean over, I'll give you a big old kiss. <laughs> I like I like Alma, she's really cute. <laughs> you will. You'll know when it, oh you know when the time comes. I sure hope so. For now though, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Give me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. Alright. Cold and with alcohol. Does it matter? Uh I don't know, maybe something maybe something classy if that's possible. She seems to like those generally. That's yeah, not Asian okay. mix, nope. Uh classy. On the rocks and mixed. Uh, that's alcohol. Cobalt velvet. Co cobalt velvet. Cobalt velvet. All the rocks are mixed. Indeed, indeed. Here you go. Thanks. I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. Wink, wink. So, you said you felt you felt rotten the last couple of days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on. You heard my problems. I want to help you, too. Don't don't worry too much, really. Please. Right. I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess in my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Right, I forgot. They, um, they skip, they just, they don't celebrate Christmas. They celebrate mega Christmas. The advanced form <laughs> of Christmas. Uh, yes, the sequel to Christmas. Mega Christmas. <laughs> Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm, to be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm. Say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? The breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. Really? I like breast better. Ah, see? I told you. Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture. Maybe, but simply simple is usual yeah, usually better. Breast is a lot easier to enjoy than legs. And a lot less messy. <laughs> you silly girls. <laughs> you silly girls. Obviously the best part of the chicken is the thigh. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm going to guess that's what she's going to say. You're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts are the wings. I was, damn it! I was so close! <laughs> damn it! I should have said wings. <laughs> Tragic. 
boss? What's that? Spicy chicken wings. Where'd you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. <laughs> you know, spicy chicken. This is the shop two blocks from here. Oh, it's an actual shop. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Well, because... Eh. Not as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma? I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be... You're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up. But it'd be cooked otherwise. Great. I Great. expect you to hear at oh, Sunday, no. 8, 8 p.m. Well, I almost, almost spoke for you. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. Mm. She left the bucket. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Ooh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left them there. Do you usually order stronger stuff? I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? I don't, don't like guys. <laughs> I like girls. None that's of the a above. Question. <laughs> I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be decent enough. Let me read the. Let me read the uh, chat. Uh, if champagne was poured into a cup with some coal left in it, yeah, the the, the uh, what was it? The cobalt. The cobalt, we, uh, velvet. The cobalt yep. velvet. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's, the descriptions in the game are hilarious. Uh, jealous, not aggressive, Sick. responsible enough to keep a job. That's so good. You like them buff? How about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscle is always fine, too, but sharply-dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet you're still signal. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand... Here's another matter completely. I see. So, can you give me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. What What do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. Uh, what would be a good drink for that? Sweet, I think. Like, is there, like... Mm. I don't know. Maybe there there's like something a... something with a particularly strong taste. Uh, Probably not a spicy like... drink. Uh... Sour? Replace the spiciness with super sour? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like sweet. You want to look at the sweet options that we have on on offer? Sweet. With, how about on the rocks too? Because like that'll cool her mouth down. Hmm. That could be nice. Little mm. matter suggests milk. Hmm. Milk. I don't know if we have. I don't know if we have milk. I don't think we serve milk at this bar. No. We do <laughs> not have a milk blast. All of our M drinks have Blast in the name. You're very true. That's very true. Mm. I am thinking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me go through the. Let me go through each one. Mm, nothing but mammals. Luxury 
Hmm. Yeah, let's get our sweet drink. That's on the rocks. Yeah. What about the bottle drink tab? I don't. I don't think most of the bottle drinks are super. Uh. I don't yeah, know. Not, I not don't all of them are great. Yeah. I don't think I don't we want to give her a fedora full of perfume with a plum in it, for instance. Right. <laughs> That'd probably help her forget about the. <laughs> about the spicy wings, but uh. Right. Sweet moon blast. All on the a moon blast. Let's do a moon blast. Moon blast sounds Agreed? fun. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you're the bartender. I'm just the assistant. <laughs> uh, uh or, yeah. Okay. On the rocks and blended. Blended. Moon, moon blast. blast. Moon blast. Here. Oh. Yeah, it helped. Oh, good. Thanks. All right. So, next question. What kind of girl do you like? Oh, there we go. Hmm? <sighs> you first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but... Nope, I prefer men in my bed. Now, you. <laughs> Just... <gasps> Calm down. I, I guess I like girls with light-colored hair. Light-colored hair? Y yeah. You know, like redheads and stuff. What about white? Like your boss? <laughs> you you were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that way. And she got here with a bucket of wings. Your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. So, light colored hair. What about blondes? You like me? Ah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. Gosh! Damn it! Would you go along with it? Nice spotty, pretty face and a good apartment? I wouldn't ever let you go. <laughs> okay then, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you're feeling terrible these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill. You've heard my problem so many times. Now I want to help you. Come on. Come here. Huh? I told you to sit here. Come on. Uh, what? What? Uh, it's it's me. It's Jill. <laughs> it's me. It's Jill. What We're are Alma you? We're now. All right then. Now I'm the bartender and you're the client. I'm adorable. Jill is so cute. Hardly. The bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay then. I move this here. Oh. Uh, the. That actually freaked me out. I thought my computer was fucking up. What? No, just yells. Now it works for you, for me, and for that dog in the Hawaiian shirt. She's Alice Rabbit! Maybe. She's Alice Rabbit! Probably, yes. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> It's a big reveal! All yes. of a sudden! I understand that that might not make a whole lot of sense to you, uh, lol matter, but, uh, yeah. Alice Rabbit is a, uh, is a, uh, famous hacker in this setting. And, uh, Alma yeah. here is also a hacker, a professional hacker, just, uh, 
Not, to our knowledge, a famous one up until now. Holy shit, she's... She's the house rabbit in disguise. Hey, Rook the Night language? You're not, you're not my, you're not my dad. I can do whatever, say whatever I want. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> How you doing, Rook? Welcome in. I, uh, I'm assuming you got off of work. How was work? Um, I mean, I saw the error thing being. A, yeah, I saw the rabbit too. So that's crazy. That's crazy. You had the day off. Oh, cool, cool. Nice. Well, we'll come in. Uh, uh, so, um, we just got a revelation that uh, the person that we're speaking to might be a very important person in this universe. It's so not the I'm kind of like, this, but yeah, dramatic irony. Just playing some Magic: The Gathering. Oh, nice, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I, I I know the newest set, the um, um, Phyrexia. Phyrexia. All will be one. Yeah. All will be one. That like. I'm getting really hyped for that because, uh, like, I love the new Alesh Norn. I want to make a new. I want to make an Alesh Norn commander deck. It, it's just mm. I only play commander. I don't like. I don't like playing standard or any of the any of the uh, normal formats. I just love playing commander. Come to think of it, I haven't you, seen any of the new cards from Phyrexia actually. Oh. Um, but anyway, we should uh, uh, play the video game. Yeah, we should play the video game. <laughs> Before we go on, a, on this tangent, that will last forever. Take some um, dramatic iron to their knees, says Rook the Knight. Yeah, Alesh Norn and Grand Cenobite was my first mythic? Yes, yes. See, yeah. Alesh Norn is, uh, is the, my uh, Magic the Gathering waifu. <laughs> yeah, I also started around the time of uh, New Phyrexia. I think it was just I, after New Phyrexia, because like, I, I, my first Magic the Gathering... Uh, my the first time I acquired any Magic the Gathering cards, it was just I was uh, there was a card uh, place that I went to to play Pokemon cards, and uh, one of the people mm -hmm. that I played Pokemon with was just getting rid of a big box of Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, hmm, lucky you. <laughs> yep, yeah, it was I all play... uh, commons and uncommons except for one copy of. Uh, Triumph of the Hordes. That was the only rare oh. card in all of it. Ah, what? Well, so it wasn't cards anything are, amazing, cards, cards but it was, you know, cards are cards. Yeah. Um, I started around Invasion, hmm. the Invasion block. That's a, that's an old set, but I started around then. And, uh, yeah. I, that, that just tells you how, like, my age, I'm just outing myself. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, I started around Invasion. <laughs> but yeah. Let's get, let's play the game. <laughs> yes. Rook the Knight says, I went to an Innistrad Midnight Release draft tournament, lost, and immediately wrecked my car, <laughs> pulling out of the shop. <laughs> oh, illegal no. Tur illegal U-turn, didn't mean to. Oh, no. <laughs> tragic. If you lose in the game, you lose in real life. Well, that's not so bad. As long as you're, as long as you're not dying. Uh, well, okay. Why with why with him too? He's a dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Right. And how did you even manage to? Oh yeah, hacker. Right. Now we've changed roles. You've been feeling terrible. Mind telling me why? It's. A long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Okay, then. Something that goes back to my college years. Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education. I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get, in the high, uh, get high grades. Even in physical education, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades and then of course when I got to college shit started getting hard I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything burning my eyelashes studying I eventually managed to keep up good grades after about a half of the uh, after about half of the career I met a student teacher her name was Lenore she helped me a lot with my studies she even got me into stuff that gave me more, more credits 
I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. Oh. We started going out. I met all of her family, even, and. You want a drink? What? A drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. A sugar rush, then. You can't mess that up. Right. Right. He'll ask for a sugar rush. Now, how did this thing work again? Two Adelhide, one Powder Delta, and optional Karma Trend. Okay, it's all mixed. Yep. Good thing we still have the assistant bartender on, on hand. What if I get chilled drunk? What would happen? Huh? Who what knows? I, I kind of want to find out. Like, after stream, I just want to see what happens if I get her super drunk. Fair enough. Yeah, Rook the Knight says, I've been getting into Commander for the first time, so I'm putting decks together. Right now, an all green, but I've got a black green and maybe black white planned. Oh, neat. Yeah, never I never actually played a uh, commander myself. I've only ever played standard and modern. Yeah, commander's a lot of fun. It used to uh, like commander used to be called Elder Dragon Highlander. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just for people that have a huge collection of cards and they could just throw in their favorite, like one uh, one of each of their favorites. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have that huge collection, so com commander. Uh, uh, Starting a commander deck would be super expensive uh, for me. Mm. So, I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I want to get back into um, uh, get Magic back into uh, ma Magic Gathering. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Age reveal? No, no. I um, I think I think you can with context clues you can figure out how old I am. <laughs> Just do the 97 swap meme deck. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I heard it's a mess. It, um, Magic Gathering, well, scientists have proven that it's the most complicated game in the world and that AIs, uh, AIs can't make the, the, the best move because there's so many variables. So yeah, scientists have, uh, have said that Magic the Gathering is the most complicated game ever made. I so, wouldn't call it a mess, a, but I would say that it's uh but it it is pretty complex, yes. Ah. You're not even talking about the game? What? <laughs> oh. Are you talking about like the like the community or something? Or like I I don't I don't I don't know what you're talking about, low matter. The deck uh, with ninety seven swamps in it, maybe? Swamps are pretty messy. Oh oh I mean community oh, okay, you mean the community and stuff. Community and company uh, stuff, yeah. Gotcha. Well, Wizards of the Coast got a bad reputation recently before their shitty uh, OGL changes that they were yeah. planning. So, um, kind of, yeah. One of the reasons why I'm not even, not even bothering with Magic right now, it's because of that kind of shit. Yeah. Um. But I'm gonna look this up. Um. Do I mess this on, up on purpose? Um, or not. Day, day 11. I mean, we can't, like, serve Jill a drink that's, like, not... Or we we can't serve a drink that's messed up, right? Like, we can't serve uh, one that's prepared incorrectly, I don't think. Hmm. I don't like, think we, so. Yeah. Because it's never, it's never given us that option before, I don't think. Yeah. It'd be funny if it, mm. if it gave you that option when specifically when you're playing as Alma, because she doesn't know any better. But right. Mm. One second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Yeah, I will. I will admit that the Wizards of the Coast uh, events have also made me hesitate on getting back into Magic: The Gathering. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just give her a sugar rush. All right. Here. 
Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. I have this gut feeling that with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. <laughs> You're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know? We don't go to bars for cuteness, though. Maybe you don't. You've obviously never been to a cat bar, then. Besides, my, I figure it can be a hassle when I'm trying to move around this kind of stuff. So, keep telling the story. <sighs> well... As the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session, investigations, a thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech and suddenly, while reading and said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking? I realized that I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all. But all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't enjoy doing all that. So I just. I was just standing here there, and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized that I'd only gone through the motions day after day, from high school to graduation. I. I. I feel like the whole whole years of my life have sh slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point, I stopped and then realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all of my strength to not start running like I could panic mess. Mm. So, a couple of months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenore was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. But I was just scared. That would be my job. I would spend my life expanding on what I did during a year and a, that year and a half. What if I had a sudden realization like the one I had at graduation, but then I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't t uh, taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things devolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things, I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke a vase in the, in the process. Vase, vase, vase. After that, I never spoke to her again. Man. I'm sorry, I... suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling bad about this after all that time, though? Unless you've been feeling terrible for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Huh? The other day, Lenore's sister, Gabrielle, came to the spa. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Hmm. Localized nanomachine rejection. A heart attack. Apparently, she had it for a long time, but never told anyone. And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. I just can't stop thinking about it. Wonder if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true she had all that for a long time, why didn't she tell me there was she was sick when she were we were together? I don't know. I just feel like all kinds of failure. Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but she's just a kid, for fuck's sake. She lost a sister and pretty much raised her on her own. To pop it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? 
Who cares? I lost that chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. A selfish piece of shit. Hmm. I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be this. I. Yo, boob tender. Yes? Can you give me a big beer here? You're coming right up. Big beer, big beer, big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing? <laughs> I guess... Uh, I guess I'll do that. Even though she doesn't know how to do it. Yes, hello, Fruit Rat. Hey, Root... Hey, Fruit Rat, how you doing? You feeling better? I'm so happy. I'm very happy. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All mixed. mixed. It's a big beer. It's a big beer. A big beer. Big beer. Big beer for Jill. Thanks. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. You drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BTC-issued liver implant is that I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. I have one of those! That's actually in my lore! <laughs> I have a I have a liver implant. That's that I have a, a Sheppy, the VTuber has a liver implant. <laughs> That's well, so cool. Good. good thing you're you're the one playing Jill then. It's true to yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Hmm. Hey, Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm? Well she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stressed was my default state. So, just like you're behaving right now. Shut up. I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't. It's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there, finding a way to cool me down. She was also able to hold conversations about pretty much any topic. One time, I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. Polar opposites. All of that, yeah. All of that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She would always push me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Lenore would always present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. <sighs> Man, I'm going I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I don't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but she was such an awesome person, I just wanted to apologize. And now <sighs> You know, in a cruel twist of irony. She's the one that made me pick up bartending. Oh? Back when I was thinking of what the hell to do with my life, I remembered a night what we spent in a club. She started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember saying that her talk, that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Huh, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab a shitload of water and nap. I'm thirsty as fuck. Yes, yes. Water will cleanse the soul as well as the body. Uh, refresh, refresh your head. Uh, we'll talk later, rat. Uh, if you're still up, we'll talk later. Huh. Oh, huh, interesting. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. Are you okay? Some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I wanted to thank you, Alma. Thank me? I guess I just needed someone to tell all this to. And you were the one. You volunteered yourself. 
You insisted on listening to me. You stood there, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person. I'm not one to spout love and fluffiness, but... I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client. But I really appreciate your friendship. Or at the very least, your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. Jill, are you dying? Shut up! I'm having a heart of heart here! Sorry, sorry, it's just... Weird for you to get so... Sappy. I'll just realize that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. And it hurts like fucking hell, you know? I never, and I mean never, want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost. And if it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. And if I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster up all the courage and can, and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. Hate it! Hate it! <laughs> That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know. <laughs> it's almost closing time anyway. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I, I mean it, you know. Thanks for everything today. Silly, Jill. You listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget. Did you ever talk about all this with your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to be the bro to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. You should try to having a talk with them like this sometime. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday. Take care. That Alma girl sure is nice. She was listening this entire time? Oh, God. Uh -huh. Listen, Dana Dana is always, always knows what's up. Always. Oh, uh, boss, did, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk at the very least. Expression changed a lot already. It did? You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh, oh yeah, boss. About those chicken wings. Idiots of the spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana. We don't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. <laughs> Is that how they treat their regulars? Oh, manager. Um. <laughs> boss? <laughs> Cherished titty hacker. She's a good friend. <laughs> All right. And with this, we can afford to pay the bills. <laughs> a Karen moment. More like uh, just them being idiots. I mean, Karen, a Karen moment is when, uh, like, you go out of your way to speak to a manager for a small ass problem. Like, like, this burger should have three pickles in it. It only has two, you know, like uh, this, they got her order completely wrong. She has a right to uh, complain. <laughs> All right. Same. Your, your account was charged 8,000 as payment for your electricity bill. Have a nice day. Jill's power didn't cut, get cut. This gives her peace of mind. And now she'll focus at work with no problem. Have a nice day. Nice. Yay. 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 <sighs> they said they don't have the spice for her or oh oh I listen it's like it's 1128 it's 1128 
I'm really tired. <laughs> I, <laughs> listen, I just think of that. Those around you are some of the lower cast. Yes, that's it. Yes. Yes. I'm fucking tired. So you'll have to forgive me, Lil Man. <laughs> Please forgive me. Um, Bill paid. <laughs> Don't, didn't you have a boyfriend named Bill? <laughs> Let's get this game saved. Indeed. Mm. So, revelations. So, revelations. Yes. Uh, Alma is my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> she's so fascinating, and she's very cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, 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 it, I think it's. Time for me to go to bed because it's. I can't believe it's already eleven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Passing of Thank time you, is cruel and endless. Yes, it sneaks up for on some you. anyway. Well, it sneaks up on me at least, like I just like I just did. Mm -hmm. hey, anyway, I I'm glad you had a day off, Rook Knight. Rook the Knight. Uh, keep on missing your streams, and I'm sorry about that. I've just been streaming every day this week, so I think next week I'm going to do, do a few streams so I can work on my art and um, just have a little bit of me time so I can um, work on my VODs and my, uh, some TikToks I want to make. I really want to make some TikToks. That reminds me. I've, I've been VODs, I forgot to upload. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I have... I haven't, uh, the the last vod was I uploaded was our uh, was a was a bartending stream like five streams ago five <laughs> five Valhalla streams ago um, so I haven't even uploaded my Pokemon streams yet and I need to do that I have the thumbnails for them even I need to I need to upload them yeah fortunately I'm only one stream behind at this point but. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take a. I'm only doing a stream a few days this week so I can focus on my vods. Anyway, uh, next week I'm in. Next week, this week I'm gonna be playing Splatoon. Splatoon on Friday and Saturday for Team Milk Chocolate. What's your team? Uh, what's your team, Tiberius? You know, I'm gonna be honest. I forgot about the Splatfest, but uh, white chocolate. White chocolate, valid, I suppose. I do not valid. like chocolate. I do not like bitter things in general, really, but, you know, chocolate in general. I'm not going to argue the point that white chocolate is not even chocolate. It's just basically, it's just milk and sugar. <laughs> but it's... I, it, does, I, you're, you're, it does have cocoa fat in it, but it is also not legally chocolate, I think, because it doesn't have cocoa solids is the, uh, the uh, okay. definition of it. It has cocoa butter. It does have cocoa butter. Yes. See, here's me trying to be a smartass on stream and getting embarrassed twice within the yeah. last ten minutes. There is because I'm not even. Mm. Yeah, Go I was ahead. say there is there is matter from a cocoa bean in white chocolate. It's just not all of the all of the stuff that goes into more traditional chocolate. Oh, okay. Did I save? Yeah, yes, see. you did. Yay! White chocolate has its moments. I, th I think in its own, it's not very good, but it combines well with other flavors. Yes, like um, it's pretty good with I'll, other things. But again, like it's I, the I, 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 I love white chocolate Kit Kat bars. Those are so fucking good. They're so smooth. They're so they're so creamy and smooth. Oh my god! Uh, white chocolate, um, white chocolates. I even had the white chocolate Hershey's bars, and they're fucking delicious too. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna shit on white chocolate. I'm not shitting on white chocolate. I'm just saying that uh, it, it's the least chocolate out of all the chocolates that, I mean, that are in the spot. That is by definition, by definition, that is true. <laughs> but I chose milk chocolate because it's the most universal. And the most widely, I guess, the most popular, I would say. Uh, oh, 
So yeah, do you want to set up for a, a coordinated raid? Yes, let's do that. I need to go to bed. Let's, who's streaming? Is Bravo <laughs> streaming? Is Bravo with potato streaming? Oh, let's find out. I do not know. I haven't seen Bravo stream in a while either. Like, you you two just taking a break? Uh, yeah, I maybe see. I just keep on. Maybe I just keep on missing them. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say I see that uh, Judo is online. If you want to visit them. Yeah, let's just raid into Judo because they raided into me. All so right. let's raid into J Judo Kami. Yes, uh, the one and only Judo Kami, CEO of Judo Corp. Yes. Do I? I'm still. I haven't clocked in in forever. Um, Bravo's been busy with school a lot. She streamed this uh, last week. Okay. Um, yes. Also, before before I raid, a shout out to my good friend here, uh, Sheppy Sheps. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull up. Um, oh man. Oh my god! I I used the raid function on someone else's channel. <laughs> Oh, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking stupid. I forgot I can use, I can use the raid command on OBS. I am so tired right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right. Well, it looks like we better get that uh, raid underway so that you can sleep. Yeah. But yes. It's uh, a raid. Judo Kami. So, anything Judo else you want to say before we before we end off, Sheps? Uh, happy Valentine's Day next week. Mm -hmm. I'll. Don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. As we'll play it by ear. Um, uh, like I said, Splatfest this weekend. Look forward to that. Um, I'm going to be repping for milk chocolate. So, yeah. All That's right. all I have to say. So, yeah, as for myself, uh, I do expect to be streaming tomorrow. But I've been, I've had a little bit of a sore throat recently, these past couple of days, and it's not completely gone. So I might mm. possibly take the opportunity to rest as well a little bit more tomorrow if uh, this night of me doing all sorts of voices uh, <laughs> has put any any particular strain on me. Right. But yeah. So I'll, anyway, I'll... I hope to be back to the usual uh, next week at any rate. So yeah, uh, that's me, I guess. All right, my rate's going out, so I'll see you all later. Don't all right. die. Do some push-ups or run around the house or something. Bye. Bye. Well. I'm so tired. Bye. Well, yeah. Also, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope they will be well the next time I see you. Thank you all very much. And farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>